All right, so the Canucks lose yet again, this time to the New York Rangers. And I get it, it's frustrating to see the Canucks pile up these losses like this, especially on home ice. But tonight, I feel like you can't get mad at the group as a whole that much because the effort was there. And given the circumstances of the lineup, losing three all-stars in Besser, Demko, and now JT Miller, going toe-to-toe -to -toe against the President's Trophy champions of last year, I'm not too upset at the team after watching it. It was a really fun game to watch, went down to the wire. It just sucks that they barely came up short because I really thought the Canucks deserved to win this one, but it's whatever it happens. I mean, I don't really know what to think about the whole JT Miller situation. I've heard the quote mental reset float around. I don't know what that means, but it's all right. We'll see what comes of that. I did think though that Elias Pettersson really stepped up his game today. Two assists and he was setting up his teammates left and right today. I told you all like five games ago that he was back. I even titled one of my videos after that statement. And lo and behold, look at the stats ever since then. To all the people that told me I didn't know what I was talking about, take a seat. Anyways, let's talk about the first period of play. First play of the game, the boys are coming out the gates hard. Quinn gets the puck with some space, dashes to the center, and then puts it by Shesterkin on the backhand. Beautiful way to start the game. I just really wish we could have enjoyed it for at least two minutes because the Rangers come straight back and Mika Zibanejad ties this game up on a redirection. Shit. Shesterkin later gets so lucky, he doesn't even see this one, but somehow the puck hits his toe on this Sherwood shot. And this is the only negative comment I have for the Canucks. They give up so many grade A chances. I don't know what Juleson's doing on this pinch right here, but luckily it's Shilov's the save. Later, again, it's just giving the Rangers a direct entry into the zone here. Capo Caco with the shot off the post. Canucks had a few chances, but then this happened right here. Like, come on, man. And I know a lot of people are going after Hughes. I think Juleson is more at fault here. He just kind of watches the puck go by him, does nothing about it. I think Hughes thought that Juleson was going to get this one because he could have just taken a step to the right and he would have been there, but he didn't, so I don't know. 2 1 Rangers, but in the dying minutes, of the period, Pedersen with a nice sauce over to Sherwood, and he fires it by Shesterkin. What a goal, what a player Kiefer Sherwood has been, 2-2 at the break. Moving into the second, Capo Caco with the goal here. Very lucky off of Susi, just really unfortunate. It sucks because Susi just hasn't really been himself to start this season. He was a beast last year, but him and Myers as a top four pair just hasn't really worked, so bit concerning there, but anyways, moving forward, the Canucks fire back with a goal of their own. Really nice passing play, Hughes to Suter, Suter to Joshua, Joshua to Garland, and the soon-to-be father scores a beauty goal there to tie this game up at three. You gotta love that Garland actually showed up in this game and performed well in it, even with a big personal matter in his life. 3-3 is the way that the second period ends. Third period starts and the Rangers have themselves a breakaway, she loves with a good save, but then the Rangers come forth once more. It's a nice passing play, Kreider scores, but I mean, the defense on this one could have been a little bit better. Just a tough one to give up. And look, I know that blaming the refs is an easy out, but the refing in that third period was awful. Hoaglander got high stick in the slot, no call, and then the Canucks had a power play, and Shesterkin grabbed Garland's leg for like a solid four seconds without letting go, prevents him from getting to the puck in the corner, and the refs don't call it. I couldn't believe it. I've never seen such a hold in my life. And I've seen times where players have been called for holds where they've let go after like a split second. This was like a solid three, four seconds where he latched onto his leg. And that would have given the Canucks a five on three power play in a one goal game. So I don't know. Don't want to blame the refs because we might not even have scored on the power play. But still, I would have liked to see that get called. Rangers get the victory four to three. Canucks fall, and now they start a road trip. Just get them out of Rogers, man. Nine losses on the year so far, eight of which have been at home. That's just ridiculous. Hopefully they can turn it around. I don't know what's going to happen with Miller and Besser, but we'll see and figure it out as the week goes. But yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Peace out, and take care.